Welcome to the driveway. Today we're in the workshop, so we're not in the driveway, we're just inside, but I wanted to show you how to make this rabbit box. The gist of the thing is that Cletus the possum, hopefully you don't get a possum because they do stink up your traps, but he comes around and old Cletus looks in there and he smells something good and he goes in there and poop! No more Cletus. Well, he's in there. He's all right. Don't worry about him. Now here are the tools you're going to need and, and the various things. And you need a drill. Pre-drill your holes, man. Save yourself some heartache. Anytime you're going to drive a nail, pre-drill the hole. You're going to need either a table saw, which is what this is, or one of these little hand saws. These are great. Works just as well. Takes a little longer, but no worries. Then you're going to need a couple of kinds of nails. Any kind of shortish nail with a flat head, as long as it'll fit through your board thicknesses. And then another board on top of that. Just know that this has got to drive into through two boards. Also these little finishing nails, people use them for paneling. I like to use those to put my little small things in there. So you might find better, and I don't blame you. Set those aside right now. You need a hammer? Mjolnir! Only I can pick it up with my right hand. See? Ah, oh, too heavy for my left hand. Alright. Now, here are the pieces parts. You're going to have two walls. And listen, guys, dimensions don't matter that much. You're going to have scrap wood around your house, probably. And you can use almost anything. This is just cheap plywood I have for another project. This is actually siding from a job site that uh, it's this sheathing they put on houses it's it's not a great material to do a lot of things with but it'll work for this so that's going to be our ceiling this is just another piece of thicker plywood I had lying, lying around that's going to be our floor so basically we're going to have blonk, blonk, we're making a box do note that this is, I cut this one about an inch and a half shorter than the floor and there's a reason for that we'll show you you need a little door, and these uh, these fencing nails you need one of those. Now, there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could just drill a hole through there and run your string, but you could also drive one of these fencing nails in, and that works good too. Then you're going to need some little pieces, and you'll see how all this goes together. You need two, and then one to kind of go behind as a guide. I'll show you what that's about. These two pieces are part of your trigger system. You build a little mast. And I'll show you how this goes together. I promise, I promise, all these promises. But this is going to be a trigger. And when the animal knocks it loose, the weight of the door, this is the door, sorry, the weight of the door is going to drop. So this is just part of the trigger system. This mast I've just got so that I can set on top and tack it down. And I've uh, slivered off enough where this can just go in the hole. This makes the trap easier to take down. So I, I think that's a good idea. You can also just drill a hole in the top of your trap, but I want it to be a little taller, so I made this little extra piece. Unnecessary. You just drill a hole right in there. All right, we're going to show you how to put it together. So the first thing you're going to do, you got your two walls here gonna go like that. But on one side we need to make a guide. We need to make a guide for our door when it falls. So we're gonna line that up. We're just gonna make us a little mark. Right here. And I've already marked right here because I want to go about a half four centimeters back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little piece right there. Later we're gonna nail a piece right here but we've got to know this has got to shoot up a little higher so this has got to be in the middle of the top and the bottom we're going to do this one in a few minutes but we have to have this one in first or it's really awkward to get to so uh, let's help to have a hammer with it I'm just going to use these little paneling screws for this and now we're just going to remember this is our bottom we pre-drilled our holes Make sure we're. Yeah. Okay. We'll use these bigger nails 
with the fat heads on this. Now we're going to put our sealant in it now. Something I neglected to show you earlier. You need to go about two and three quarters or three inches from the back of the top of the of the roof and drill you a hole. That's uh, big enough for my thumb if that helps you. And what's going to happen with that is your trigger stick is going to go in there and latch. So here's your box with the sides on it and there's your place where your, your door is going to fall down. See that little, that's a brace so that when it falls it'll follow that path. These are going to be on either side of that. You only really need one in the back, so I only ever put one. It gives it plenty of room to do. So we can go ahead and put those in. Pre-drilled the holes. These are just little scrap pieces. I don't know. Three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch. So you see there, you got one guide on the back. You don't need it on both sides, but these are your guides for your door to drop in. Where the animal can't push it in or out. So, if you had just the outer ones, that'd be pretty good, but another animal might be able to come and, and shove it, you know, get his nose under there, and get your catch. Now, I've also drilled a hole in this back piece. I neglected to say that earlier, too. And the reason for this, this fits in here. We're just going to nail it in place one way or another. I have to trim it a little bit. No, there it goes. We'll nail that in place, but when there's an animal in there, oftentimes they get kind of shy. So you need a stick to kind of prod him out when it's time to go. Now, a lot of people will get hardware cloth or some scrap wire and go over the back. And that's actually a better idea. I don't have any scrap wire, and this is going to work. But it does make it easier to see the animal in the trap. because the animal can see all the way through but that really depends on what you're trying to catch most animals small little furry animals they look for holes they look for dark little places to get into we have a phobia about caves and dark places but squirrels and possums and raccoons that's their Valhalla little little hidey holes so they they don't mind that there's no fence in the back that they can't they don't mind that they can't see all the way through but it does make it a lot easier for us. We're going to set our mast up and it's going to go about halfway. We've got our box built. I just nailed on the little mast holder. That's where our mast, I don't know if you can see this. The hole doesn't really matter, but I made a little, little V in the top. Old timers would just use fork sticks and they'd stick them up. And that fork stick would hold your balance rod. Okay, I moved the camera up a little bit. We've used this uh, yellow rope. I think it'll be easier to see instead of other options. Sometimes I use this inner line and a paracord. You don't really need to use a whole strand of paracord. It ends up being too thick to really mess with. But this is a tricky part because you have to balance this pivot piece and you've got to find the optimal length for your door. I've already got it tied into this hole. You gotta find a way. You gotta find where this is gonna be about right there. So we'll go ahead and tie that. So we got that side of the equation. Now we want to run this cord through our hole here. We have got to actually set the trap and determine how long that cord needs to be. Now, that's what we want. That's about right. So we're going to hold this and tie our knot there. It's a super easy trap, guys. 
I know, don't get hung up on the fact that I haven't sat here with a ruler and told you the exact measurements. This is something that has been done since colonial days out of scrap wood. I mean, nobody wasted anything back then, and you shouldn't either. So there we go. Now, that's set. And again, you put a little bait in the back of the trap. This one's going to work exactly the same as the other one we had. Here's Cletus. Ooh, oh, no, what's happened? Cletus on a stick is now missing his stick. And this thing is all made so it just falls apart and hangs there. If you can see that. When you're ready to put things away, you just pull your mast out, your door out, stick it all in here and it goes to storage.